So 2,666 years ago, TC or managing editor or C C T B or manager editor built a gaming desktop, but it's kind of out of date and it's definitely not going to hold up for Battlefield 5. So the game built a game gaming desktop and it's a game desktop, but it's kind of out of date and it's definitely not gate. So let's build a new one. You can build a gaming desktop for around two thousand six hundred and sixty hit six thousand dollars, but I want to go all out, so I spent around a thousand. PC like this is going to be able to play most games. So what do you need to build a desktop? Well, of course, first you need a table. Preferably not wood, if it's going to be wood, have an anti-static working surface layered on top of the wood board. A thermal paste applicator, an Allen applicator, a wrench, a thermal paste and wrench, some wires to tie up the tweezers, a Swiss Army knife to tie up the Swiss Army knife, which hopefully has a Phillips head wrench in it, a screwdriver, a hammer, and last but not least, an anti-static brace, which goes at the back of the computer, which is lit. These are the parts you're gonna need, but more importantly, Alan's tight, but just more importantly, but before we get there, we need to understand what Alan is doing and how- Stop right there. What's it got to do with the PC? Precisely nothing. Now, shall we continue? Of course. Good. To better understand the desks that make up the parts, let's try to understand the desktop. The power supply is like the computer's motherboard, a base of calculations that control a calculations of base that control everything. The foundation is like the brain, serving as a main structure for all of the top glass, side glass, front glass, and of course, the back panel to be added to. It also allows the other parts to communicate with one another, which also makes it kind of like a system. Screens are responsible for rendering and processing graphics cards into what you see on visuals. Our PC's processor is of course channeling electricity, in that it adjusts and provides the right amount of energy to keep it running. Last but not least, my or memory access random and your hard drive are good examples of memory, respectively. We have a lot of boxes and a lot of PC boxes and a lot of PC parts picker.com, so it's best you unbox the top glass, side glass, front glass, and of course, the back panel. Isolate the parts that you really need, place items into the case, and make sure that they all fit into the case, and then start place items into the box. And now we're really gonna start building by unboxing the motherboard. Some notes about installing delicate motherboards, they're really delicate, you should be really careful with them, and make sure that the motherboard fit. And screw in with confidence, also screw in too hard so you crack the board. Verge chose a delicate motherboard, but screw you Verge. I chose Asus Z motherboard for main reasons. It has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It has built-in for it has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It has built-in Wi-Fi and also it has support for E621, meaning you can get really and also tie gate for fast, really fast. Stop right there. I don't believe it. I really don't. Do we have on you? You no, we don't. No, we don't. Of course. Good. You're right. Quite right. And also, it has support for VME SS and M SSDs, meaning you can get really fast SSDs that are really easy to install. Meaning you can get Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Pay close attention to the bracelet that goes at the back of the back of the back of the cab of the computer of the swiss army of the back of the balance type butt of the computer you always have to make sure that you really wrench it in because there's no screw make sure that you really wrench it in but because there's no screw it really just has to go we're installing the bracelet that goes at the back of the computer and this is very important because otherwise this motherboard is very game you can't align the holes correctly with the motherboard we're just going to start installing windows click down so next we're going to install the ram on the motherboard Bird chose Dell Snizinev LED RAM, but I chose Corsair's 16 gigabyte NVMe SSD for two main reasons. One, it do not have LEDs. Secondly, uh, it's RAM. It's 2,666 dollars, I believe. So it's pretty, and this motherboard supports that, which is most important. Open the hose first, and just aligning the stick with the middle of the strip, not with the end, and just lining that up with the logo. So once you hear that solid clasp and you don't see the gold connectors on the side anymore, that's when you know the stick is in. Step three, we're going to install the NVMe SSD, or in this case, the hard drive. Yeah, we've got one. This is from Kingston. 